Email is essential. We use it for everything from business to personal communication. But email is also a target. Criminals are always finding new ways to exploit it. One of the most common methods is email spoofing. Spoofing is when an attacker falsifies an email header. The header makes the email look like it came from someone else. Imagine receiving an email that appears to be from your bank. It asks for your account details. You might think it's legitimate and click the link, but this could be a phishing attack. Clicking on that link could lead to a fake website. This site is designed to steal your login credentials. You might unknowingly hand over your username and password to the criminals. This can lead to financial losses and identity theft. Protecting your inbox from spoofed emails is critical. This is where SPF, DKIM, and DMARC come in. These are email authentication protocols that can help you fight back against spoofing. SPF stands for Sender Policy Framework. It is like creating a list of approved senders for your domain. Think of it as a bouncer at a club. The bouncer has a list of who is allowed in. SPF works by publishing a record in your domain's DNS settings. This record lists the IP addresses that are authorized to send emails on your behalf. When an email server receives an email claiming to be from your domain, it checks this record. If the sending server's IP address isn't on the list, the email fails SPF authentication. While SPF is a great first step, it has some limitations. One limitation is that it doesn't protect against email forwarding. If an email is forwarded from a legitimate server, SPF won't flag it, even if the original sender was spoofed. DKIM stands for Domain Keys Identified Mail. It adds a digital signature to your emails. This signature verifies that the email really came from your domain. Think of it like signing a letter. Your signature is unique to you. It verifies that the letter came from you. DKIM works in a similar way. It uses public key cryptography to verify that an email was sent from your domain and that it hasn't been tampered with in transit. Setting up DKIM involves generating two keys, a private key and a public key. The private key is kept secret and used to sign your emails. The public key is published in your domain's DNS records. When an email server receives a DKIM signed email, it uses the public key to verify the signature. DKIM adds an extra layer of protection on top of SPF. However, it's important to note that DKIM alone doesn't solve the problem of spoofed sender addresses. Section four, DMARC, tying it all together, DMARC stands for Domain-Based Message Authentication Reporting and Conformance. It's like the boss who sets the rules for SPF and DKIM. It tells email providers what to do if an email fails SPF or DKIM checks. DMARC uses a policy to tell receiving servers what to do with emails that fail authentication. This policy can be set to none, quarantine or reject. None means no action is taken while quarantine means the email is sent to the recipient's spam folder. Reject means the email is blocked entirely and not delivered. DMARC also provides valuable reporting data. It tells you who is sending emails on your behalf. You can see if there are any unauthorized senders. This data can help you identify and block spoofed emails more effectively. Section five, protecting your inbox. Email spoofing is a serious threat, but you can protect yourself. Implementing SPF, DKIM, and DMARC on your domain is crucial. These tools work together to add layers of authentication to your emails, making it much harder for criminals to spoof your domain and trick your recipients. By setting up these protocols, you're not just protecting your own inbox, you're also protecting the reputation of your domain. When you take email security seriously, 
You're sending a message to your recipients that you value their trust and their online safety. So take action today. Implement these protocols and make email spoofing a thing of the past.